Reporter genes are gene sequences that code for a protein that has a property allowing it to be easily detected. A length of DNA containing the reporter gene and a promoter region is incorporated into a cell line. When the promoter is present, it stimulates the transcription of the reporter gene into messenger RNA and translation into the reporter protein follows. These assays are widely used because the reporter can be easily detected, it is easy to transfect the DNA into cells and the change in expression of the reporter protein is a direct measure of the activity of the promoter. In addition, two reporter genes can be employed simultaneously, provided that they can be separately detected. This cartoon illustrates a typical cell assay employing a reporter gene to detect the activation of a G-protein coupled receptor. In this case, when a ligand binds to and activates the receptor, the GS protein is stimulated, leading to activation of adenylate cyclase and the production of the second messenger, cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP in turn activates protein kinase A, which has many targets in the cell, including the Cree binding protein CREB. Upon activation, CREB translocates to the nucleus, where it binds to Cree, the AMP response element. It is part of a DNA sequence just upstream of the luciferase promoter, which is in turn activated. This promotes transcription of the luciferase gene, resulting in the production of luciferase protein. Luciferase generates a luminescent signal, which is detected optically and gives a direct readout of receptor activity. Reporter gene assays are widely used in drug discovery because they produce signals that are easily measured and because cells don't normally produce this type of molecule, there is no risk of mistaking the signal. Because the reporter protein is synthesised only when the target is stimulated, the signal is very stable and reliable. The example on the last slide used luciferase as the reporter but many other reporters are available, including a range of bioluminescent and fluorescent proteins. Bacterial beta-galactosidase is commonly used because it can be measured using a cheap colorimetric assay. When X-gal is added to the cells, the enzyme converts it to an easily detected deep blue compound. This variety of reporter properties makes the simultaneous use of two reporters very practical.